Turning now to election 2019, miserable is what some are saying about voter turnout so far for the city election. Right now, it is at 12 and percent with early voting over. Taking a look at our countdown clock, the polls open in less than 13 hours at 7 tomorrow morning. Some election observers are saying the city will be lucky to hit 20 percent turnout by the time the polls close tomorrow evening. News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Pickett has an update on Election Day preparations. Let me show you what's going on across the city as precincts are setting up. We're out here at Precinct 1007, and you can see these are the voting machines and all the equipment they need. It's being stored here as they're setting up. The main action, of course, is going to take place out here at this precinct when they open at 7 a.m. tomorrow. And that's what's happening right here. They're setting up the voting booths, getting ready for people to come out here and vote. And I'll tell you, they're hoping for a lot of people because so far the turnout has been very low. Throughout the day, we caught up with people who were dropping off ballots downtown. Some had thought they would be able to vote early today, but that ended on Sunday. So the only way to vote today was by mail, or what used to be called absentee. That didn't work for Connie Devon. I don't want an absentee ballot. <laughs> They've had too many problems, okay? Right. So, yeah, so I'll just wait and go to my precinct tomorrow. Right now, election officials are hoping Connie will have a lot of company because turnout so far is very low. Yeah, it does look like we're in for a light day tomorrow. So far, over 35,000 Republicans have voted, outnumbering Democrats by 2,000 votes. And for no party affiliation, over 7,000 have voted. Today, people at the Supervisor of Elections office were complaining that they didn't get their vote by mail ballots in time. I was due to get an absentee ballot, but I didn't get it. My absentee three years had expired and I didn't know it, so I'm pushing the clock to get it done today. <laughs> Staff at the election office says there's not been a problem, just confusion. Nothing's different. Uh, state of Florida, there is no such thing as a permanent vote by mail ballot. You do have to request one. When you request one, they're good for two general elections, but those are only for federal general elections. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.